Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching episodes 9 and 10 of Ash vs. Evil Dead, which will complete the series. What did you think of the last two episodes? As always, so crazy. There's still a lot of story left, I feel, that they could put into this. Um, but as we've said in episodes prior, this show moves so quickly uh, that they absolutely could fit everything in. I've heard good things about this wrapping up, even though it wasn't really planned to be wrapped up, but at least it ends in a place that is okay. Plus, there's still more Evil Dead content. It might not have Ash, but we have Evil Dead Remake in 2013, I believe, mm -hmm. and the new one coming out, Evil Dead Rise, which is definitely produced by Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell. So Evil Dead is not dead, but <laughs> Ash vs. Evil Dead is about to be finished. Yeah, I'm sad. It's been, you know, a couple months for us to get through this. Uh, so I've really enjoyed this series. I'm excited to see how they wrap it up. Yeah, it's definitely been a surprise hit for us. One of our favorites. So I'm excited. Me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on our Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the episodes. Creating a new page. Oh, they're getting a new page. Ew. I thought only the cover was made oh. with skin. Give me that pen. That was a lot. Oh. Hail to the prophesied one, for he will be the savior, but not your savior. No, why? Oh my god! They fucked her up hardcore. Can't believe the Kelly's gone. She's not gone yet. First Linda, then Cheryl. Chet, then Pablo. I'm not dead. You were. <laughs> put an end to this once, once and for all. all. You know what? This time I'm serious. <laughs> Pablo has to put it together. He saw Evil Kelly. Yeah. I can't see. Come here, you. What? What's happening to me? Just take it easy. What are you seeing, Pablo? Wait, where am I? You're right here with us. No. There's blood on the floor. Oh, oh he's that girl now? Oh, he could see. Her soul doesn't have a body to come back to. Wait, Zoe's on the floor. Who is he? I don't know who he's looking through. I can through. see Ruby. Oh, he's looking through the book. I'm seeing through the eyes of the Necronomicon. The Necrowaticon? Can you see where they are? It's an old house. There's a fireplace. You were there, Ash. I'm back. How'd you do that? I don't know. I don't get a manual with being a brewer special. <laughs> that was cool. That was super helpful. I'm coming with you. No. You're too weak to fight. How are they going to get Kelly or whatever her name is, out. I do not know. Oh, So sweet. That's not good. No. Book stuff is happening. Sounds like someone's pounding on it. Why is it closing? It's not the same rift. No, it doesn't seem like it. Oh shit, they're already through? Oh, she knows. That's not fair. We didn't kill him. I feel like they're just there for Ruby. Probably. I'll have another one, Frank. Uh oh. Frank? What happened to Frank? Is he eating his own hand? Oh. What the fuck, Frank? Oh shit, people are just turning randomly now? Either they marked him or this is because he's the Brujo Especial, so it's like it didn't go after him. Yeah, or it's after someone else. Yeah, Ruby. Has priorities. Ooh. Not good. <sighs> Come on, you're Ash's daughter. You can take on a deadite. No. Run, Brandy! Why do you always go upstairs? <laughs> oh! Where's the gun? Well, I guess the gun doesn't work on... On this thing? Yeah. Get inside the RV? Oh. 
some amazing shots. Uh oh. Did it resurrect her mom? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> She gets her own solo fight. <laughs> oh, it totally took off her thumb. You have three, new messages. three messages. I just wanted you to know that you taste good. Oh God, evil cell phone. He's here. Ruby. Oh. I just saw her in the rift. Being in a rift? Mm-hmm. Got my daughter back. No thanks to you. <laughs> Couldn't get Kelly out of the rift because her body has a no vacancy sign. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, no. no. You might cut it off. Yeah, you might need to cut that hand off. <laughs> oh, this is brutal. Her own little origin story. Oh, I thought that was real. Oh, they're like in her head. Come get some. <laughs> Behind you. Oh. <laughs> there you go, Brandy. You're going down. Put that down. Oh. Dream about getting a new phone after this. What is that? A lawnmower? Oh, it's a snow plow. Who's laughing now? Brandy will follow you. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. I think they think I'm one of them. But you're not, right? No. Oh. So Pablo's like immune? Thank God. <laughs> I wonder what that is that exploded. Because I hope it's not the hardware store. I can imagine him having a bunch of fireworks in there. <laughs> Dark ones who join them with the Necronomicon, then the Book of the Dead will once again be complete. Everything will be doomed. <gasps> oh, jeez, dude! Stupid guy that was standing outside. Oh, Ash is getting wrecked. I got your rip right here. Oh, oh shoot! He needs that. You bitch! What the hell? That crossed the line. You're gonna pay for that! I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a little weird having Kelly doing this to me. <laughs> <gasps> this worked. What the fuck? What is that? Oh, is that Kaya's actual body? Did they just bring her back to fuck? Oh, God. They just brought her back to just torture. Yeah, get, get, get Kelly. Take me. Ooh. Kelly and the book. Get out of there. Oh. I'm melting. Fuck off, bitch. Ash, get out of here. Damn. That could not have worked out better other than losing the chainsaw. Check. Economicon. Kelly's just dead body. <laughs> Can you hear me? Oh, now he's driving. Brandy, take the wheel. Take the wheel. Thank God he's with Brandy at least. Come in, over. Gosh, <laughs> I can hear you. Get the rift ready. No, do not go to the rift, Tiffany. Damn, is this one way? <laughs> oh. No. oh God. He's just hitting people. Implemented martial law. That doesn't sound good. Stop getting drunk. <laughs> oh, the bar. The freaking bar. <laughs> dead eye on the roof. Oh, oh, shit. Worse than dead eyes. We have to help him. No, I got it. You stay here. Yeah, if they won't touch Pablo. All right, Kelly. Oh, jeez. No. Brandy. What the hell are you doing here? You gotta get out of here. No, not without you. 
Uh oh, lost page is attached. Just get Kelly's body at least. The time has come to test the metal of man. They got the Necronomicon. What? Slasher Saturday. People, you gotta start running. Like, where do you even go? It's like the end of the first season. Right, with just holes opening up. Don't! I just wanna take a look. <laughs> with Brandy. What was that? Is that a hand? Fuck. <laughs> Is it a giant hand? At least I still have that. I got it! No! Oh. Oh. This way, out the back door! What the hell, are you flying? Dead by John! Ugh. She like ate some of that. <laughs> what? what is that? It's Kandar, the destroyer. Kandar? The Necronomicon, your destiny. It all comes down to this moment. It's the final test here, Faith. He doesn't even have his chainsaw. Hey, he's here! Dude, that's a really bad idea. Right here. Bye. Oh. Oh. Poor man. This can't be happening. Oh, it's real. I feel like they need to get the hardware store, no? Probably. Let's go to Gordon Daly in New York. Damn. The demon came out and started attacking everybody. Everyone's under attack. The whole world. World in chaos. Of doomed humanity. It's kind of Ruby that did it. Yeah, it wasn't you, Ash. Who am I? Nobody. No, you're a hero. I'm a, a goddamn failure. Good job, Brandy. You're the savior of humanity. So get on your damn feet and own up to who you are. Please don't let me down now. That was so sweet. You throw out his back. <laughs> I'm gonna show the world what a Williams can do. First things first. <laughs> you gotta get high. I'm not gonna fight that thing with a clear head. <laughs> Don't do drugs. <laughs> right in front of her. You are going out of town. No, I'm not leaving now. You can't stay here. Where's she gonna go? The whole world's in chaos. Yeah. I wanna die together. I'm a Williams too. We're family. There's so many sweet moments. Get back to that rift and save Kelly's soul because honestly, I can't stand her smell much longer. <laughs> it's just getting worse. I know a way me and Brandy can get there without being seen. Oh, I thought they were gonna kill themselves with a dagger. Okay, this connects to the main <laughs> line in town. <laughs> She's just taped to a dolly. They're literally coming from the ground. Most of Elk Grove drains right through this abandoned mine. Oh, come on. That doing anything? I doubt it. They're just making it more powerful. <laughs> oh. Oh, damn. That thing is so ugly. Going through everything you did and no one believing you. When this is all over, I'd really like to hear about it. Deal. Man, they just keep giving these moments one I after know. another. I'm really afraid that Brandy's not going to make oh, it. Oh, no, she has to. I always carried this necklace on me. Not sure why exactly. I guess I thought it would keep me safe. Wow. It belongs in your hands now. I feel better knowing that you have it. Thank you. There's like too many sweet moments. Oh, about to be spoiled. <sighs> this guy again? It's only one of them. So... Oh, that's so many. How are they looking down there? Are they above you too? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, stab. Oh, in the nuts. There you go, Brandy. God, I hope there's no one in there. Oh. We're not finished with it! There you go. 
They gotta close that one and get the green one open. Possibly. I might be able to just go in. Fuck. Why are they saying her name? I don't know. She's the heir apparent. All right, go get her. Yeah, they gotta fight them off. Give Pablo time. Hang on to that. I got these jokers. <laughs> oh, fuck. Was that the guy that was in the wheelchair? Yeah. The dead is now. Your mama should have taught you not to speak with your mouth full. <laughs> oh, shit. There you go. Um, goodbye. Close your mouth. Heads up. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? God. Ooh. Kelly? Kelly? No. No. So he did find her? Yeah. Come on, Kelly, wake up. Maybe it takes a minute. She's like really dead. Give her a kiss. You're fine. Oh, she's so pale. Am I alive? You're alive. All Aww. right. It's better now that she's awake. <laughs> oh, I look like Keith Richards. I was thinking more Iggy Pop. <laughs> There's two of them now. <laughs> I thought I could take Ruby on my own. I was wrong. Fucking I write you were. <laughs> really? Man, tanks now? Don't leave me. I won't, kiddo. This thing's intense. Aww. Hold on tight. Keep running, Kelly. Find you, watch out. Oh. A deadite with a gun? Come on. There you go, Kelly, you're back. Damn, Kelly. <laughs> I mean, this is absolutely the most intense Astro's Evil Dead has ever been. They're gonna nuke it! God damn it, not until we clear. On our signal! They're gonna nuke it? It's only gonna make it stronger, bigger. <laughs> Dad, get in! No, don't leave everyone, Ash. My father always said I ran from my fights, Brandy. I'm not running from this one. Ash. The people are gonna need a strong leader. That's you. Pablo, you're the jefe now. Oh. You saved them. Damn, I'm gonna cry. Right? I gotta finally, for once, own up to who the hell I am. Damn, why is this so incredibly emotional? To stop the nuke, though. Yeah, right. <laughs> a tank? Do you know how to use a tank? Okay, Ash. Just like Battle Zone, the arcade game. <laughs> Aw, Pablo's taco stand. <laughs> Sorry, Pablo. My bad. What is his plan, though? No idea. The thing's so giant, does stabbing it with a dagger kill it? But how's he even get close enough? Final showdown. Don't go anywhere. I got a little something for ya. Oh. I'm gonna shoot it? This is a strategy. But then that dagger is gone. You have one shot. Can't miss. Locked and loaded. Also, they're all over the world. Just demons, not these giant things. <laughs> Better know how to shoot. Taste the metal of man, huh? Taste the metal of man. Oh no. Fuck. Oh, I was super excited for this shot. You can still take it, but oh, it's gotta yeah. be a different button. Just start hitting everything. Oh. You definitely did not miss. Oh, shit. Oh, my. 
Close it back up. Worked. Uh oh. Why does he have a hand? Oh, that's his left hand, right? Oh. Who's dragging him? Oh, the knight! What the fuck are you doing, knight? This is futuristic. His hair. Oh, now his hand. Whoa. Damn, knight. Or knights from the future? Or he... Or has he been maybe frozen? He's, yeah, he might have been like frozen or something. What year is it? Why is he trapped like a prisoner? I guess he's not. That's a robot. The savior is awake. Come. Okay. What is this, like ex machina? Oh, oh. shit. This is the world? Oh, no. It's all gone. Not everything. What a car! Is that his car? I think so. That's the old Oldsmobile or whatever. Where's my dog? I'll explain why you drive. Oh, what a sick jacket! Oh, and a shotgun on the side? Come on! <laughs> Same old Ash. How do you feel, sire? Man! All right, that was episode nine and 10 of Ash vs. Evil Dead, finishing off the series. What'd you think? I thought that was a fantastic ending. I thought that was a great ending, and I'm also super pissed that we don't have more because that was so badass what they just set up. That was really cool. Um, obviously, we're a good amount into the future. He has like this robot sidekick. His car is like all ramped up. I mean, there's so much that they could do with that. So it is such a bummer that we're not going to get to see more of that. Yeah. But I still feel like it did a good job wrapping up majority of the story. Obviously, we didn't get to like reunite with Brandy or Kelly or Pablo. But I mean, it really was perfect how they wrapped it up. Yeah. I mean, just to run through it real quick, Brandy is clearly, you know, Ash 2.0. Yeah. She had those badass moments. Kelly, kind of like what we always thought, would kind of take like the new leadership role, even though Brandy is like Ash 2.0. Yeah. Kelly's still kind of like the leader of the group, but then they're all leaders. Cause then even like passing the Jefe torch to Pablo. Yeah. Ash not running away from a fight and the final test against the Dark Ones and defeating the giant Dark One. Like, that really was a fantastic ending. If it would have just ended with Ash and like his whole crew just like riding off into the sunset in the Oldsmobile, I think majority of people would have been like, that was a perfect ending. Mm -hmm. But they just set it up for something that was so exciting that I just, I'm gonna be dreaming about the potential of what could have come after this. Yeah, no, I mean, it's a real bummer that we don't get more in general. Also for them to have set that up, I would love to see where they were gonna go with that. Yeah. Honestly feel like they used the entire season's budget in that finale. <laughs> like that was so insanely intense. The amount of gore between episodes nine and 10 was definitely up there. Zoe got absolutely wrecked. I mean, the skin on her back, the eyeballs, just all of it. Yeah, she was like being bled dry or whatever. Like. She got it so bad. Yeah. yeah, I mean, episode nine started with that and it didn't stop. I mean, one of my favorite moments in episode nine was definitely Brandy in the shed fighting the evil. Yeah, the like mom cell phone. Damn, we both, I think, thought it was gonna come full circle there to her cutting her arm off. Yeah, I loved how they showed it. Like they gave us that, but yeah. then they really didn't do it. Yeah. So it's like fan service, but not really. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, that was just so perfect because for me, that is Evil Dead. It is watching Bruce Campbell, you know, smash himself up against walls and fight with like nothing, but it makes it so fun and just so over the top. And they did that so well with Brandy. Yeah. And like you said, you know, throwing in that moment with her cutting off her arm and, you know, the same kind of angle and shot of like the blood splatter <laughs> and the screaming. It was just so rewarding to watch. <laughs> 
It was really good. I feel like they just did a fantastic job at making Brandy like Ash 2.0. Yeah. Her personality, her sense of humor, all of it. And it was exactly what Ash needed. Obviously, I feel like there's been very intense conversations with Kelly and with Pablo. Like this is his flesh and blood. Yeah. And to see all of the sweet moments that they had over the past two episodes, you know, the moments of her like encouraging him because that was rough. Um, to watch Ash kind of break in the house. Once everything was kind of going to shit, he just like sat down in that chair and he was gonna have a beer. He's like, I'm done with this. And yeah. like in all of this, like in three movies, three seasons of this show, we haven't seen Ash break. Um, so that was devastating, but I think that shows the importance of his relationship with Brandy. Oh, for sure. That's spot on. I mean, that was a moment that was like, man, this is emotional and it didn't stop. I mean, there was like three or four real emotional moments, even to the point where you started to cry a little bit. I was definitely getting teary eyed when Ash was kind of saying goodbye to everyone in the truck. I was not expecting that. We've loved Asher's Evil Dead, but for that final episode to just like hit you right in the feels over and over, it was successful every single time. And, and especially for this not knowingly being a series finale. Yeah, for this to be intended to keep going, they really did wrap it up well and really, I mean, went out with an absolute bang. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we said during the reaction and like you said, all of the budget, but this was the most intense over the top. I mean, you had Ash and Brandy running from hordes of deadites in the drains. You had a whole town being destroyed the whole globe the whole world the whole world was was destroyed i mean that's how it ended pretty much it was just fantastic and to keep going through some of the characters i mean like to see the change in pablo from being kind of like the sidekick and to getting his own kind of role of being like part living part dead immune to the deadites and yeah. being part of the book and like being able to channel through the, like he has such an, an awesome story arc. So good. I mean, Pablo, it's hard to choose, but like Pablo for me is definitely like a fan favorite. And just to see his growth mentally, physically, yeah. um, all of it through the three seasons was awesome. And I'm so glad that we had Pablo and Kelly along for all three seasons. Obviously, so satisfying to see Kelly and Pablo like together. Yeah. I just feel like they're so cute. They balance each other well. So that was also really rewarding. Yeah, I mean, obviously to get Kelly back, she kind of had it a little easy. She just kind of played a corpse for one and a half episodes here. Uh, well, not really, she was the evil person. Yeah, Kaya, she's just so good. Like her face at transitioning. I mean, we had her in the Asylum episode. Yes. Um, and now with Kaya as well. I mean, the actress who plays Kelly is amazing. Yeah, I want all of these actors to be in more stuff. Yeah. Like, I'm pissed that, I mean, there might be a ton more stuff. I'm really excited to see what else they've done because um, they're all great. But yeah, I mean, that was a super rewarding moment for Kelly to kind of come back. And that felt like the real kiss. Like yeah. we've had kisses before, or at least just one or something, but it was just kind of like immediately moved on. I mean, we moved on here pretty quickly, but this felt like the first time where like they both finally were like, okay, we're together. Yeah, we're in this. And Kelly looks horrible. <laughs> and yeah, that's okay. <laughs> and Pablo still loves her. <laughs> yeah. Going back to how crazy episode nine was and how this show just kind of moves so quickly, for a moment, you kind of think maybe there's going to be this like, big battle or something between Ruby and like the Dark Ones or yeah. something. The Dark Ones just came in and wrecked shop. I mean, they brought Kaya back to life just to like set her on fire. Yeah. And then they sucked the soul of Ruby and just brought her straight back to hell. And that was it. She just turned into a skeleton and disintegrated. Yeah, it was much quicker. I was anticipating like this big fight, like you said. Ruby just got wrecked. I mean, Kaya got it way worse, but that isn't to say, obviously there isn't more of the show, but Ruby isn't gone. No. She just sucked back into hell. I don't know about Kaya. <laughs> Kaya's probably <laughs> pretty gone, but it would be interesting to see like if this carried on, would they find another reason to bring back Ruby because 
I could totally see it being flipped where like now you have good Ruby again because yeah. she's going to be like, look, I got to get out of here. I got to defeat the Dark Ones. You're my only hope. Because even as she was dying, she was like screaming to the Dark Ones that the human prophet is going to kill you. Mm -hmm. Like, So she was still pro Ash <laughs> at the end right there. We've had good uh, Ruby before. It would have been yeah. interesting to see what they what they did with her character moving forward. Yeah, um, but she's not dead. So very interesting. So the very end of this episode, seeing like old her Ash and this like futuristic world, like I'm very curious if we have any way to find out what year they were in. It sounded like he did ask about Brandy. Yeah, and he did. And that's where they were going. Yeah. So it's like, how old were they gonna be? Like how much time did he spend in that box? I'm not gonna say too much time. Yeah. I'm gonna assume that, you know, Ash was, it didn't seem like he was frozen or anything like that because yeah. his hair also aged. So I feel like he was just, aging naturally right so if you put a few years on it maybe because i'm sure they still would have come back with you know the same actors for brandy pablo and kelly so i think you know whatever maybe five years or something like that is what i would have guessed and maybe the knights just had way better tech than they kind of let on or something like that yeah that's the only thing that i could think of is like the tech just seemed so far advanced like hundreds of years advanced but obviously that's not the case i mean brandy wouldn't still be alive unless she was frozen somewhere else yeah i mean we technically don't know that she's alive she just the robot girl said she would explain on the way yeah but i assume on the way is on the way to brandy right thinking of like terminator and stuff like i envision brandy and kelly and pablo as like the leaders of the human resistance against the deadites. Yep. Like I fully would have expected like a Terminator style world in the future. Yeah. And I think maybe the Knights just had like tech for the robots and stuff or certain things. Cause it's like his car was part future, part not. Like mm -hmm. it had that like crazy jet engine on the back but it still just had like his normal shotgun on the side. So, and like a normal machine gun. So it's not like they yeah. had like laser guns or something like that. So man, I just, I'm gonna be just thinking constantly about what that future could have been. I know, I am bummed. The show was just such a pleasant surprise. I mean, I was excited to watch it after the first three Evil Dead films, but I didn't anticipate loving the show as much as I did. It really was the very first episode. I mean, that episode was so spectacular with the comedy and the horror that it just set the stage for us knowing that okay we're about to watch one of our favorite shows yeah and it stayed consistent and improved every episode mm -hmm. and for me that's a huge credit to bruce gamble absolutely yeah i mean he is ashy slashy <laughs> And I'm excited that there is some more at least Evil Dead content and that Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell are a part of it because I can't imagine this Evil Dead franchise without them. Right, at least being behind the scenes. Right, but it is going to be weird to not see Bruce Campbell. Yeah, I mean, everything that we watch Evil Dead related from this point forward won't have him, but the spirit lives on. And I mean, no one does it like Bruce Campbell when it comes to stuff like this. Yeah. I mean, this was just such a spectacular ride from start to finish. I mean, Bruce Campbell, Sam Raimi, everyone, Ted Raimi, who played Chet, long live Chet. <laughs> I mean, like everyone involved, Lucy Lawless, it was just so much fun. I mean, I could take 10 more seasons of this. I could watch Grandpa Ash you know, being wheeled out in a wheelchair. The biggest thing, I guess, his classic chainsaw was destroyed. Like that was that, really sad. That was the chainsaw from the very first Evil Dead, essentially, if you yeah. consider everything part of the timeline. Yeah, that was a bummer. He still has the shotgun, but man. So rest in peace, chainsaw. <laughs> So thank you to everyone who recommended this because this was great. Yeah, no, so much fun. Such a bummer there isn't more, but I'm really glad that we got three solid seasons out of this. And I do feel satisfied. Even though I'm like excited for this non-existent future, I'm, I'm leaving this very satisfied. Yeah, same. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.